The waves are alive on South Padre Island. Channel 5's Christian Von Pricing is going off the beaten path to show us something new. Yeah, it has been something, uh, something to see. He's at South Padre to explain what's going on and how it's been an experience for families who've seen it. It's just before sunset here on the island, so we're waiting to see what happens. We were out here last night, and the waves, they did not look normal. They were glow-in-the-dark blue, and people also reported it the week before. So we're waiting to see what happens after the sun goes down. And if you do get to see it, you realize just how special it is. It may take a moment to adjust your eyes, to get away from the outside world, to make sure you're seeing what you actually think you're seeing. Woo. The rare moment the bioluminescent plankton are able to form into groups large enough for you to understand you're not tricking your eyes. You're seeing the rare blue glow of the microscopic plankton in the crashing waves. Look there, the big one. We encounter another unlikely observer, Nabil Kamas. Where he's from, there is no ocean, and he's never seen glowing plankton before either. The waves are alive because the plankton are excited. The ripple of the surf tosses them around, excites them, and causes them to glow. Woo. Oh! And if you're out here long enough. Like this. You see? You see this? You'll realize. Oh, you see? The sand around you. Look. Woo. Look, Ma. Comes alive, too. The fleeting glimmer. The thrill of what looks like an electric shore. Whoa! This is a first for Kamas. He's a refugee from Iraq. Yes, I, I love it. I love it here. The, the, the life here, great life. The cold weather has something to do with the bioluminescence. We spoke to the UTRGV Coastal Studies Lab, and they actually tell us that the plankton is here year round but right now the waves are exciting them and moving them around and that's causing a scenario where you can see the plankton and the light that they produce during these times of years they get um, concentrated up near the coastline due to north north winds and available nutrients and so there are a lot more of them if you're really lucky and you find a pot of dolphins and you've got a lot of bioluminescence around, the, whole, the entire dolphin will glow. And I've been uh, able to see that a few times here in the ship channel. Based on their observations, when the wind picks up, it's going to move around the plankton and that is what's going to dissipate them. So we're waiting to see what happens tonight. The wind is pretty still. Standing by is Tim Smith who knows a little bit more about the wind and what it's going to be doing tonight.